Hola, hola a todos. ¿Cómo están? Yo soy señor Ed y yo soy uno de los profesores de español. Erika. Hola, yo soy la señorita Erika. Muy bien, Erika. ¿Cómo estás? Estoy muy bien, gracias. ¿Cómo estás tú? Yo estoy bien también. Yo estoy muy bien. Bueno, señorita Erika, vamos a hacer un repaso, un repaso en español. ¿Puedes repetir, por favor, eh, el alfabeto rápido? Uh -huh. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, Y, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Ok, so muy bien. So aquí tenemos A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, en Z. Z, muy bien. Bueno, y tenemos ahora los números. Señorita Erika, ¿puedes leer los números para claro mí? Sí. Uh -huh. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Fantástico. Una vez más, niños. Uno, no. dos, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Perfecto. Muy bien todos. Ahora vamos a continuar. Juntos nosotros leímos la semana pasada el sol y la luna. El sol y la luna. Yo voy a hacer sol en Erika, tú puedes ser luna. luna. So, hola, luna, dice el sol. Hola, sol, dice la luna. ¿Hoy es jueves o viernes? Pregunta el sol. Ninguno de los dos. Hoy es sábado, responde la luna. Fin de semana. Vamos a jugar, dice el sol. Muy bien. Ok, everybody. Hello. Welcome. I'm going to, my name is Señor Ed, and I'm here with Señorita Erika. And we are here with Brookline Interactive from Rolla Languages. We're a language institute located in Cambridge. You can visit us at www.rolalang.com. That's R-O-L-A-L-A-N-G.com. It's right there. And we are here with you all um, learning some Spanish for kids. So we're going a little bit slower for the kids. Um, adults, you can do this as well. If you if you started with us from the beginning, um, you know that we're using our children's curriculum that we use in after school programs. Our... Okay, very good. Um, and I'm super excited that you guys have continued with us. So last week, I taught you the days of the week, and we re read. El sol y la luna. And we know el sol is the what? Sun. And la luna is the? Moon. The moon, right? So el sol and la luna. Okay. And then last week we also learned the days of the week. And I sang horribly a song. So <laughs> Erika is going to help us review it today. So let's practice first with the day, días de la semana. So yo voy a uh, decirlos, Erika, tú vas a escuchar. Um, and everybody at home, I'm trying to add more and more Spanish. So as we continue uh, these lessons, Eric and I are going to start all of the lessons with a lot more Spanish. And part of the language learning process is just get to get used to us hearing the language. I think I, I shared that with you guys last week as well. So, uh, lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Okay, so before we go to the... Um, 
uh, the practice part of this. Uh, Erica, we're going to go back to Lunes on the banner. And what I want to do is we're going to spell. So I did this before with you. You know your alphabet. If you don't, go visit us at our YouTube page with your parents' permission at Rola Languages or simply find some videos for Dias de la Semana in Spanish and you'll find some songs you can learn English and Spanish. So we're going to actually practice the alphabet by spelling. So, Erika, ¿cómo se deletrea lunes? L-U-N-E-S. Muy bien. And lunes, ¿cómo se dice lunes en inglés? Lunes is Monday. Very good. Okay, martes. Okay, señorita Erika, ¿Cómo se deletrea martes? M-A-R-T-E-S. Fantástico. ¿Y cómo se dice martes en inglés? Martes es Tuesday. Tuesday. Muy bien. Miércoles. Señorita Erika, ¿cómo se deletrea miércoles? Miércoles mm -hmm. en inglés. m i e r C O L E S. Muy bien. Miércoles en inglés es. Wednesday. Wednesday. Ok. Jueves. Ok. ¿Cómo se deletrea jueves? Jueves. J U E V E S. Muy bien. Jueves en inglés es. Thursday. Thursday. Ahora tenemos viernes, viernes. ¿Cómo se deletrea viernes? V I E R N E S. Ok, muy bien. Viernes en inglés es Friday. Friday, perfecto. And lastly, we have no, not lastly, sábado. <laughs> sábado. ¿Cómo se deletrea sábado? Mm -hmm. S A B a D O. Muy bien. ¿Y cómo se dice sábado en inglés? Saturday. Saturday. Fantástico. Y domingo. ¿Cómo se deletrea domingo? D O M I N G O. Muy bien. ¿Y domingo en inglés es? Sunday. Ok. So I'm going to say them fast one more time all together. We have lunes, martes, Miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, and domingo. Señorita Erika, do them one more time. Sure. <laughs> Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. Okay, muy bien. So, señorita Erika, I sang last time. And I'm not sure if I did a good job. Hopefully the kids bear it with me. But can you sing our Days of the Week song? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we have the Days of the Week song. And also has some snapping that goes in it. But if you can't snap, don't worry about that. You can also clap along with us too. So the way the song goes, and I'll do it slowly first so we can all kind of catch up together. And then we'll go a little faster. So the way this song goes is there's Domingo and there's Lunes. There's martes and miércoles. There's jueves and viernes. And then there's sábado. Days of the week. 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 All right, so we're going to try this one more time, a little bit faster. Try to sing along with me. And again, again, if you don't can't do the snaps, don't worry about it. Just do claps where we do the snaps. So we'll try one more time, a little faster. Again, starting with domingo. We're going to start with domingo. There's domingo and there's lunes, there's martes and miércoles, there's jueves and viernes, and then there's sábado, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. So the more you practice this, the faster you can get. Okay. Wow. That was fun. <laughs> okay, everybody. So when you're learning the language, there's several ways you can 
make sure that you know these, right? So you can make flashcards, so English on one side, Spanish on the other. You can make little worksheets, okay? Um, I also recommend that the, those that you can write, you write out in Spanish three or four times the word so that you kind of, you know, can memorize it. Um, and try to find, play little games. Maybe you can even print out um, the words and put them somewhere where you see them on a regular basis, but you all can do this. It's not that hard, okay? Uh, it's just a process. It's just a process. Okay, so today, Senorita Erika, we're going to learn the meses del año. What are the meses del año in Espanol, in English? Mm -hmm. uh, meses del año means months of the year. Months of the year. So I'm going to share my screen, Senorita Erika, who's going to prepare our banners for us. Um, and I'm going to take everybody through these um, uh these for us okay uh so here we go so repeat after me i'm gonna say them twice each um no need to put them up yet erica so here we go everybody here we go enero enero febrero febrero marzo marzo abril abril April, Mayo, Mayo, Junio, Junio, Julio, Julio, Agosto, Agosto, Septiembre, Septiembre, O Octubre, octubre, noviembre, noviembre, and diciembre, diciembre. Okay, so I'm going to say them to you one more time a little bit quickly, um, and then we're going to do some spelling and then some practice. So here we go. Enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo. Junio, Julio, Agosto, Septiembre, Octubre, Noviembre, and Diciembre. Okay, so, Senorita Erika, let's bring her back here. Okay, so, that's a lot of words there. Mm -hmm. Let's break them down for everybody, okay? So, okay. let's start with, go ahead, take it over. Sure, Enero, so let's start with Enero, which is January in Spanish, January, Enero. Okay, so we're gonna, let's practice spelling these words uh, together too. And you'll see, you'll see for those of you who are, are good at reading, that I have put the first letter is small. And that's true. In Spanish, when you write it, it's different than English. In English, we have to put a big letter. We have to capitalize the first letter of all of our months in, Sp in, in English. But in Spanish, it's different and it's lowercase. So we use a small letter. And I wrote it here so you can see it. And I did that on purpose. So for enero, enero, so let's spell this one together. So you can say it with me at home. E, N, E, R, O. Enero. January. Okay, next one. We have febrero. Febrero. And let's spell this together. F, E, B, R, E, R, O. Febrero, February. Next we have Marzo, Marzo, M A R Z O, Marzo, March. Next we have Abril or April, Abril, A B R I L Abril Mayo Mayo May M A Y O Mayo Junio Junio June J U N E O 
junio, June. After June, our junio comes julio. J, U, L, I, O, julio. After julio is agosto. A, G, O, S, T, O, agosto, August. Okay, next, I hope you're still spelling along with me at home. Septiembre, September, septiembre, S, E, P, T, I, E, M, B, R, E, septiembre. It's kind of a long one, right? Next That's one we a have. really long one. It's very long. Okay, next we have is October for octubre. Octubre. O. C. T. U. B. R. E. Octubre. All right, two more to go. Next one we have is noviembre or November. Noviembre. N. O. V, I, E, M, B, R, E, noviembre. And last, we have December or diciembre, diciembre, D, I, C, I, E, M, B, R, E. A, diciembre. Wow. Okay, so again, that's, I know that's a lot. And now before we go to our next exercise, Senor Eduardo, I want our friends to, at home to think about what month is their birthday month and try to spell that. So you, you'll hear Senor Eduardo and I will do ours, but I want you to think about yours at home. What's your birthday month and try to spell this in Spanish. So Senor Eduardo, we'll start with you. ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? When's your birthday? So what I month? I think we're going to have to lie, Erica, because our birthdays are same month i think uh, so we have to trick everybody no 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 sure. or, yeah uh, okay okay, sorry. <laughs> okay so enero is mine don't like kids enero <laughs> is um enero e n e r o enero mm -hmm. muy bien and for me it's febrero so it's the, the next month after enero is febrero f e b R, E, R, O. Muy bien. And now, yep. and now for you, you at home, I want you to think about what's your birthday month and we'll, and we'll see if you can spell it. Okay, muy bien. <laughs> okay. So another exercise similar to what Ms. Erica said was if, let me just, I'll, with practice some months of the year, I'm going to say them quickly again. I'll put them up here for us. Don't need to, I'll, I'll share my screen. So repeat after me one more time. Let me just do it. Enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, diciembre. So this is a, a fun way that you can just practice using some English, but then answering in Spanish. So, Senorita Erika, what's your favorite month of the year? Oof, that's difficult. Maybe, maybe febrero because of my my birthday, my cumpleaños. Febrero. Um, and what month don't you like? Hmm. Well, I don't know if there's any month that I don't like. I like all the months. But maybe if I had to pick one I didn't like, I would say abril. Abril, okay, maybe Abril. Uh, I have allergies, so like Abril and Mayo are. Uh. Um, okay, Senorita Erika, what three months are fall or autumn, for example? Mm -hmm. Yes, otoño or autumn is septiembre, octubre, and noviembre. Muy bien, perfecto. And when do students generally go back to school? Mm -hmm. The back to school time is in septiembre. Mm -hmm. And what month is Christmas? Christmas, Navidad, is in Diciembre. Aha. Uh -huh. And then what month is 
Independence Day in the United States. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is el 4 de julio. 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 Muy bien. Okay, so then let's remove that and let's see if you guys can remember some of these months. So in what month is Valentine's Day, Senorita Erika? Ooh, I know this one because it's the same as my birthday month, which is febrero. Febrero. Yep, absolutely. Um, and let's see. Easter in general. I think it kind of varies, but in general. Is it abril? Abril. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes I think once in the recent future. Sometimes it's in marzo. It was in marzo, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And when is Halloween? Ooh, Halloween. This is octubre, right? The last day in octubre. And then lastly is when is Thanksgiving? It just happened. Mm -hmm. It's in noviembre. Noviembre. Okay. So to finish this section of Meses del Año, we're going to have two songs. I'm going to sing one first in my beautiful voice. And then Senorita Erika is going to do one a little bit more fun. So I sing this with my children. It's more of a lullaby. It's quiet. So we say, Enero, Febrero, Marzo, Abril, Mayo, Junio, Julio, Agosto, Septiembre, Octubre, Noviembre, Diciembre. Estos son los doce meses del año. Estos son los doce meses del año. One more time, everybody. Enero, Febrero, Marzo, Abril. Mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, diciembre. Estos son los doce meses del año. Okay, so Erica's trying to slow me down, but let me, but that's how it's, so it's, it's enero, febrero, marzo, abril. Mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, diciembre. Estos son los doce meses del año. Okay, so to get to that little lullaby, we're going to go a little bit slower with Senorita Erika, but you can make your own songs to try to remember it, right? So um, the one that I sing sticks in your head. You're going to be singing it all day long, even when we sing badly, but that's okay. Who cares? Senorita Erika, what song are you going to do for us with Meses del Año? Mm -hmm. Yes, I have a different song, and it also has some movements to it. So if you if you want to get a chance to stand up out of your chair or off the sofa or whatever you're doing, this is a great time to get up and move around a little bit. Now, I'm still sitting in my chair, so I'll be maybe a little bit small in my movements, but you can do it big, just as long as you're doing it safely, so you're not hitting anything around you. Make sure you have space, and let's get to it. So this one, obviously the same words because we're still doing the months of the year, but there's some motions with it. So what I'm going to do is just the motions first. I want you to just follow the motions first, and then we'll add the words in the second time we go around. So if, if you might know the Macarena, then you all you already know the movements of this dance. So it starts with one hand out forward, then the other hand out forward. Then we turn the first hand over, turn the second hand over. Then you cross your arm and you cross your arm, then you take your hand out behind your head, take your other hand out behind your head, cross across your stomach, cross across your stomach, take one hand out and put it on your hip, take the other one out and put it on your hip. So those are the, those are all the movements. And it, it just so happens that there are, those they are 12 movements and they're also 12 months in the year. So that's why this song works out so well. So now we're gonna try to add the words into the movement too, okay? So it starts with, Enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, diciembre. And then it ends with doce meses son. Okay, so we'll do it one more time a little faster. See if you can do it along with me from home. Enero. Febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, diciembre, doce meses son. Okay, so one one of the things we're saying is doce, right? Doce means 12, right? So doce meses del año, 12 
months of the year. So I'm going to sing my song one more time, and Erica is going to sing her song one more time, and that's how we're going to finish the class. So we have Enero, Febrero, Marzo, Abril, Mayo, Junio, Julio, Agosto, Septiembre, Octubre, Noviembre, Diciembre. Estos son los doce meses del año. Estos son los doce meses del año. Okay, enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, diciembre, doce meses son. Okay, muy bien, everybody. So I'm going to put this up real quick here. We have enero, febrero, marzo, abril. Mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre, octubre, noviembre, diciembre. That's my little rap for everybody at home. <laughs> okay, guys. So, everybody, that was awesome. That was a fun class today. So, remember, practice, practice, practice. Need any guy any tips? Mm, I like you just said. Practice, practice, practice is the best tip. And think think about things that will help you remember the different months. So, like Senor Eduardo was asking me about different holidays. If you if it helps you to remember what holiday is what month. Remember your birthday month. You can use lots of little things to get your memory to 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 learn to learn yeah. all these words. So practice in all the kinds of ways that you can. Whether if you know how to read and write, those are great things to do. Or if you wanted to sing the songs that we sang together, those are also be really helpful for you. So you can use all kinds of different ways to practice. Okay, everybody. Muy bien. We'll see you next week. Thank you very much, Brookline. Visit us at www.rollalang.com for some free resources. Adios. Adios.